Hello, welcome, welcome to Carmel Boucher. S'il vous plaît. I mean, this is our beautiful uh, baby. We just opened a couple of months ago, reopened actually since September. So I'm going to show you a little bit the restaurant. French restaurant, traditionnel. Because Christmas is over, but still here. Beautiful, we have a beautiful wine cellar over there. Welcome, and this is my world. So I'm gonna introduce you to what's going on today. We have a lot because it's a, as the song says, the time of the year. So it's the time of the year and we're doing holidays. So we're doing lobster. Just got them, look at them, beautiful lobster. Still alive. We're gonna have a lobster thermidor. For tomorrow night, this one is nice, it's like to play wonderful. We're gonna have, uh, this is a steamer for my lobster, it's gonna be ready later on. I have some uh, apple with bacon. <sighs> so smoky, it's so good, it's beautiful. We have some, uh, some butter with clarifying, you know, you know, French cuisine, very light in butter, right? So we have it here, we're melting it. We're gonna go there and we're cooking with it. What day do we have? Oh, look at this, that is a present from Mother Nature. I caught them yesterday. Look at this, they are so beautiful. <sighs> Portuguese from Pebble Beach, a mile away from here. They are the first one we're popping. This year they're popping very late. We don't know why, but this is Mother Nature. What is your gift from Mother Nature? This one I'm proud of it because it's French. I already start to work with it, but it was bigger, it was like that. 5.1 ounce. 145 grams, look at this. It's beautiful, it smells so good. Ah. This one I'm gonna show you what I'm doing with it after. Actually, I'm gonna do that now. Uh, let's see, so we're doing a, what, we, what I'm calling a, a truff en croûte. Truff, a truff en croûte. Truff en croûte, you'll be so, it's a, a, puff, a puff pastry, then I'm going to put a little bit of uh, eggs for stick it. I have a magical uh, mushroom paste. It's a secret, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to divulge it. Okay, then I put some mushroom paste over here. And I take some truffle, very thin. It's very powerful, very strong. You don't want to have too much. And then I'm going to put it here. Then I cover it with another puff pastry from over here. I click it a little bit of center, and then I take my fork. You can see, and I push it. Here I seal it, as you can see. Up, up. I seal it completely. What we want is the the truffle with the paste cook inside, and it's going to be beautiful. And you want to seal it completely. After that. Uh, a little bit of yellow eggs, right? That are gonna be a nice dorure, golden color when you're gonna bake it. Up, as you can see, and then for a finish, just a little bit. There's a tip of the knife. It's gonna be like that. You don't want to push. If not, you're gonna cut the puff pastry. So the tip of the knife, you just go over it, and you're gonna make a mark. So far, you cannot see it, but later on. We're gonna bake it, we're gonna be able to do it. This one, we're gonna go to the fridge and let's see what we have in the fridge too. I think we have some couple of interesting things and uh, you people may enjoy if you are around for tomorrow and today also. So this one, this is in the cooler in the fridge. This is Rosé. Rosé is uh, a big part of the operation. Rosé, say hello. Alright, bonjour. Jose is a big part of the operation, help me make all my prep. We're working for years together. It's uh, wonderful. So what we're having here a little bit? Oh, we have an artichoke and the fennel, barigoul. That is from south of France. It's beautiful. Somebody will ratatouille for tonight. Traditional from south, from Nice. This one will serve it with the meat, except the more, but it's wonderful. But. Let's go to the interesting part of it. The ones that we want to have. We want to see. So what we're having here? 
I'm salted better for you. Or great you guys with the butter, with the bread. When you guys come in, we have salted butter, very high quality, very beautiful. Ah! The foie gras. Beautiful terrine, look at this. It's a Picasso into the terrine. We're gonna cut it, it's gonna be light, it's gonna be beautiful. Ah, you can smell. Mine the foie gras in the cognac and pork and martini and the noyer fried seasoning. What else we have here? Look at this. Beautiful lamb rice. Herb crusted. Look at this. Meat and parsley. Garlic crusted. For the lamb. This one we're gonna see it a little bit later. This is a dessert. I'm gonna show you how we're doing it. What do we have in here? Ah, of course. If we say brioche, if we say foie gras, we say brioche. And we have to. So that is beautiful. All right. I will say, end of talking. Let's start to walk. And let's see what we're doing over here. So let's we'll play a little bit. Let's see, the water is boiling, so we're gonna play with the, bro with the pork chinis. Very sad. Pork chinis, the mushroom, mushroom. We don't want to leave them in the water. They're drinking, it's a sponge. First of it's a sponge. So you know what? Oh, look at my friend. He's gonna try to get out of here. So what do you wanna do if you wanna keep your lobster alive for a day or two? And you don't have a tank. You have to put them in a container like that. Cover them with a tablecloth or something. You're gonna put some ice. Ice gives some more water. Water with the oxygen. And they're also nice. So they're sleeping. They have a long life. So that's how to give you a nice treatment. Here we have some portionis, so we say the portionis, this one are beautiful. This one, as you can see, is a little bit wet. Okay. Hop. We might not wash them after that. This one is a little bit wet. Have some water, but it's okay. So what we're doing is, we take some mushroom, we just put it a little bit in the water, and we wash it. Just like that. Okay. It's the first part. Or what I'm using, look at this, it's fair, it's beautiful. saute it and then we're gonna give it some flavor. So this is my favorite part. You know, you guys know it. A little time in the cobion, what I'm gonna do here and add uh, some bay leaves. And some black pepper.
Now we're gonna saute. Just a little bit to make it. If you were at home, you will cook them directly and eat them because we're doing a bit of flat. So we get to work. So we keep the little bits because they're beautiful, as you can see. That's what we do in our water. And as I say, my favorite part. So of course to drink it when I'm not walking. Only when I'm not walking, okay? I promise. And that is superb. First a little bit to give it a flavor and directly in the strainer we let them cool it. Finish it's coming in. Alright. The water is still not down, so we're going to show you how we did it with a little bit of a piece of the dessert. Come with me, we're going to finish uh, to open the dessert. It's an interesting one. This is the dessert for uh, tomorrow. Oh, uh, sorry, not tomorrow, but uh, you will see. So, the point is, we have the cake, we have the Bavarois, and we need to take this one out. If I go like that, it's never gonna happen. How will I do that? Put them in the water, it's not even gonna happen. So let's, let's take a plate over here. One. And we have my magical torch so. here. We're just gonna warm it a little bit. Voila. What we'll do after? We're gonna clean it. That will be the dessert for New Year's Eve. Of course, some chocolates, raspberry, blackberry, I don't know yet, I will decide it. A little bit whipped cream on the top. And we have here a beautiful sponge cake, deep with a natural syrup. Uh, uh, milk chocolate, Bavarois. White chocolate, Bavarois. Dark chocolate Bavarois. There will be some whipped cream that will be for tomorrow. It's beautiful and it's extremely good. With a glass of a champagne of a sparkling that we're gonna give you tonight, tomorrow night, sorry, with the dessert, it's gonna pair beautifully. I'm very happy of this one. All right, now we got uh, the, the part. So, some people will say it's a little bit cruel to do what we're doing. I don't think it is, and I think it's a, I give a very, a lot of respect to the meat or the fish. So we're gonna steam a couple of lobsters here. Okay, I'm gonna make three, three by three. Because we're gonna give them space. How do we want this one? So we have it four. Four by four, we're gonna give them space. And uh, so I gotta go. One, number two, three, and four. And I pre cook them. So I'm gonna give them six minutes. The 
this is the time more than we have for them. As soon as we finish the same, we're going to put them in the ice directly. Coming back then. to cool cool them off directly. How are we doing with the back one? The back one is good. Oh, you can hear, I wish you could hear it. It's singing. Singing. You can. Ah, I love the noise. You have this smoke here coming out. And this. Slowly, slowly. It's beautiful. Oh, I see that my brother is ready. So, this is why I keep my brother when I'm walking. Just a little bit, not too much. As you can see, the client fly better. Just a little bit. So what things can I do when, uh, when I have my truffle? And I recommend you to do it. Either it's a white one or it's a black one. your paper, wrap it, and this is the secret. You want to put them in a rice. You see, you put them like that and you cover it. So you have a double effect, very interesting too. And the first one will be then you conserve and took off the humidity of it. And two, the rice, the rice, the flavor of the Truffle, it go into the rice. You want to make a truffle risotto after that, and that will be wonderful. You already have the flavor. It don't need to have some, but it's perfect for it. It's gonna be one of your best uh, uh, risotto. They never have the truffle one. What are we doing here? It's almost ready. You see, we have three minutes coming up. So I'm still morning for me over here. So I'm still on coffee. I'm surprising, I know usually it's wine. Don't worry, we're gonna go there soon. I'm gonna take you to the wine cellar a little bit. We have some interesting thing over there. In exactly two minutes. Oh, in exactly two minutes and the cell is gone. This is the time that we're gonna take the lobster out of the water. So when you do a court bouillon, it's, uh, it's uh, important to, uh, to uh, not put only water, but you want to put some wine, you want to put some bay leaves, you want to put some black pepper, all. You want to put some carrot, some celery, some onion, some shallot, some garlic, all these vegetables. You cook them and you want to give them some flavors. And then when you're going to put your lobster in, even if the lobster by itself has wonderful flavors, you're going to add some flavors to it. We matching and going very well. It's important. What's gonna be for the lobster is gonna be a terminal. So later on, I will cut them into empty the head and I have what we're calling it's a duxel. It's a grand mushroom, wild grand mushroom, porcini, chanterelle, garlic, parsley, salt, pepper, saute, cool grand, dry. And then in the head, we're gonna fill it up. On the tail, we're gonna put some cream and we're gonna finish it. That this is a Thermidor version. It's super, it's a quality, uh, it's exceptional. It's definitely. Uh, my bacon is uh, almost ready. So please, one, one remark for the bacon. When you, after that it's ready, you're gonna strain it. Do not strain it in the, in, the, in the sink. Strain it in the container. Keep the fat, make the fat. 
it, strain it and keep it. You can raise it, you cook with it. Some potatoes with a flour, with a fat, are beautiful. And if you don't want to keep it, just try to be solid and put it in the trash, not in your sink. That will save you a lot of money. Okay, so we're gonna put it in the salad. It's almost ready. The lobster, it's coming up. My timers. I'm working. It's. Uh, I'm gonna be a chef, and you can be the chef, the biggest chef in the world, which I'm not. You need a timer in your kitchen. Without timer, you can't. So, it's gonna coming up now. A couple of seconds. cool them off because you don't want them to keep cooking you need to stop the cooking right away we're gonna stop the, the clock and then we're gonna see a little bit about the wine let's see what we're having oh remember I showed you earlier the, 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 the bread so this is our, our bread it's a local production from a big hill of Fayette on the exit of Carmel at the Banyan I love their bread because they do it like as we do it in French. That is a pre-cook. Two nights when you're coming, you put that in the oven and it came out like it's just baked now. It's a beautiful bread. With the butter, it's wonderful. Let's go over there and see a, a little bit. So, you can see it by this window. I'm gonna put the light on. And uh, I stay here, I'm gonna, I gonna bring my keys. Beautiful one collections. I'm gonna pass by behind the bar, you're gonna pass by out the bar. If not, I know with all the wines that we have here, you're gonna drink all of them. <laughs> so this is a collection of the wines that we are serving by the glass. This is our white room, you can see. We have wine a little bit everywhere. Some Chablis over here, Iran Barrow, Syslop. Some Sensei, very beautiful wine too, very good. Uh, some Sauvignon over here. As you can see, beautiful. Of course, we French, so we have some Bourgogne. Côte du Rhône. We keep going. Where well, and this is where we're going. So here also some local. So we have some French wine, and we're also promoting a, 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 a lot of uh, uh, Californian wine, Sonoma, but also see uh, also the wines that we have over here. Uh, we are beautiful local local, local production. They're doing some perfect wine. Uh, it is beautiful. So we're gonna go on the left side of the of the wall because this is where we want to see. We have a beautiful collection of the wine. And I'm gonna put my glasses because I cannot see with all it. We have a Poma over here of 1979, for example. So it's beautiful. So we have a a uh, Chafo Saint Denis Premier Cuit 1999 over here. Another Grand Cru. We have someone. What we have here? Grand Cru 1966. Well, I'm not going to move that wine a lot. But just to show you a little bit. Mm. 
beautiful. Sevedoc of 1975 over here. And Aubryon, 1975, 1982, 78, 79, and this one, 64. Look at this. That is a, a beautiful bottle. I'm trying to not move them too much. It's a Bordeaux and a superb. Well, you have some Pouillac over here from the Medoc, 1961. That is amazing, 1970 on the top over here. We have La Tour here, which beautiful, 1964, 66, 67, 70. Oh, look at this collection, boom, boom, boom. Oh my God, that is beautiful. Look at these bottles, the Mouton Rothschild. Look at this one, 1970. And this one is a 1966. Well, some beautiful wine. Don't look on the floor, it's a little bit messy. Huh? But we have some couple wine also. Look at this one. It's a beautiful bottle. It's a beautiful for our, for our big parties. A few magnums over here, as you can see. Let's see our Campo Rosé. Here it's more local productions. Uh, or uh, Rosé here, we have Côte de Provence. A Rosé. Got the Provence come from my area. Some champagne here. We had one, I don't know, we have some Verclico. Of a Amatus. We have here. I'm looking for, we used to have uh, also, this one is a nice one too. Uh, unless uh, Josephine, a nice rose, nice bottle also. It's beautiful. Uh, maybe Solos or what? Ah! Le voilà! For all your fest festivities. Plus on Dom Perignon. This one is a rosé, we have a normal one, the white is a regular one too. For celebrating the, for New Year's Eve and stuff like that, it's perfect. That is a Veuve. We have a Moe Chandon also, beautiful. Wonderful champagne from France. And <coughs> we're gonna finish with... We have a Marc Latour, 1966. Beautiful wine. So, as you can see, we have wine for everybody. From different regions, we have a 64 way, I'm not gonna move it. What was the wine on the bottom that I don't wanna move it? Supporting this Pisoni. Uh, Opus one also, beautiful. And uh, a little bit music for the wine. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's wonderful also. You know, it makes the wine raised a little bit. If I was a wine, I was dancing. No, I'm going to soon gonna go back to work. So we have a New Year's Eve, we have a free place. Uh, available, uh, some kind of first setting, a little bit on the second setting. We have a beautiful menu, starting with the choice of a foie gras, of a cocktail shrimps, uh, cocktail cognac shrimps, and after uh, we're going on the choice of uh, lobster terminals, the lobsters, and you saw all the truffle on croûts, and I show you also. For cut the flavors a little bit, we're gonna go on the uh, sorbet uh, lemon with a zap of a vodka. An entremet, it's, uh, it's calling uh, somewhere. Or an entremet pour nous. Ensuite, uh, we're gonna have a choice of a filet with uh, Cabernet red wine and shallot sauce. Or we're gonna have a lamb rack, herb crusted with uh, a fresh mint lamb jus. And for desserts, as you saw earlier, we're gonna have the Bavarois, three chocolates, serve over a line of chocolate and the fruit. For the dessert, we're offering you a sparkling, and uh, gonna decorate the restaurant and having a lot of fun over here. First service start at 5.30, second service start around 8.30 8 for the late nights. We're gonna have a lot of fun, a lot of good food, a lot of good wine. 
a lot of good paves way to finish 19, uh, uh, 17 and to get into 18. Well, 19, 18, moving to 18, right? Yes. 19, oh, sorry, 18 and we're moving to 19. I think uh, the wine already made his effect on me. Voila. So, see you all over soon. We'll be uh, open tomorrow. We're open tonight at 5.30. We're opening uh, Wednesday from uh, Thursday to Saturday to Sunday. We're opening lunch from 11.30 to 2.30. And every night um, of the week from 5.30 to 9.30. Sometimes a little bit earlier, sometimes a little bit later. So hope to see all of you soon. Uh, we love you. And uh, for people who know me and know that I'm back here. So yes, I'm back home and I love it. Thank you. Love you all of you. Merci.